Welcome back. Founded at the Asiatic Bazaar on Grand Street in 1932, the Sri Pretoria Hindu Seva Samaj held its first meeting in a cinema. It has since grown into a beautiful temple complex that boasts a mandir, a functions hall and a Gujarati school. Sadna recently visited the Samaj and learnt more about its fascinating history and its present role. My name is Jeevan Kalyan and I came to South Africa when I was eight years old. And when I was, my uncle was very much uh, associated with the Samaj. He was one of the founder members. And when he used to come to the meeting, he used to bring me with. And at the age of 20, I got involved in the workings and the management of the Samaj. And since then, I've been with the Samaj all my life. You know, when the Samaj was started, when Mahatma Gandhi began his fast in 1932 in India, then we used to have prayers. And that prayers get together, gave us an idea that it's now time because the population of the Hindus are increasing and we should have some sort of a platform where we can get together and preserve our religion and all the celebrations and all that. And that's how the summer started in 1932. 1974, the first we built the school. Then the temple was built after two years. Then after three or four years, we built the hall and the auditorium and all that. But the school we built first year because a lot of people had moved to Lodium and we require, it was difficult for the children to travel to Ashirik Bazaar. Samaj, in my mind, basically means seva, right? And seva means giving of yourself, which is so important. And I'm very involved in the Samaj in the sense that I've been teaching at the Baal Mandir, the nursery school, since the past 20 years. And I'm also a volunteer on the Health and Welfare Committee. We are also registered with the Department of Education with the process of getting grade R learners also ready in order to get access to uh, mainstream education. That's the one component. And then the other component we also run is we run our Gujarati classes, which are run on afternoons on a Tuesday, Thursday, and then for a weekend, Friday and a Saturday class. Our school has become very multiracial and multicultural. So we don't only teach about Hinduism. It's an English medium school, and we cater for children from all race groups. It's amazing, it's amazing what they tell their parents. Because at the end of the year, the parents are like so impressed to say that when my child started here, he didn't know anything. And by the end of the year, what they know, it's totally different. And it makes us feel good. We get satisfaction in the sense that we've molded these kids. So they had a good foundation and hopefully it'll take them through school and... The main uh, development on the campus itself was the temple. So we started with the temple development and uh, we also then had an incident in the 80s where um, I'm sure people who were watching would remember that we were, if I use the term, bombed. There was an explosion and the temple was targeted and it was in disrepair. 
and this was during the 80s and we went once again galvanized support from our community to repair it. So the temple that we're sitting in now is uh, refurbished from the original one and that was unfortunately because of the damage that was uh, incurred.